Shivani interviews the Blackpool Combat Club, then in the ring immediately after. Oh, the match. God. Here we go. Mox, Castagnoli, and Regal. Or excuse me, Mox, Castagnoli, and uh, Yuta. So he reveals that he had taped an interview with William Regal yes. a few weeks ago after the pay per view, after Regal turned on Moxley and cost him the AEW title. And this is his chance to explain why. And it's the two of them together, Regal and Shivani. Regal notes he's been a longtime friend of Tony Shivani. And uh, people are only going to see this if something horrible happens to me. But when you have lived a life like I have, you are always expecting something bad to happen. I was very upset with MJF. I was very upset with the way he put his hands on you, Mr. Shivani. So in the end, I gave him what he wanted. But be careful what you wish for. As for the top three guys in the Blackpool Combat Club, I determined they didn't need me anymore. I knew they would not accept this. I had to show them that they didn't need me. I had one more lesson to teach them. Always stay one step ahead. Always keep your eyes in the back of your head. Gentlemen, he says, it's been emotional. And he steps away. <laughs> this was ridiculous. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I mean, whatever, it's over. Yeah. Like, that was just, they decided that they wanted to put a bow on this thing. And, uh, you know, I, I guess I kind of respect that. But at the same time, this was ridiculous. I feel better getting an explanation for why Regal turned on Moxley. Even if it's completely preposterous. It's a reason. I gave MGF the title because then everybody would want to kill him. Yes. Everybody already wanted to kill him. <laughs> then he explains, I laid out John Moxley to teach him one final lesson. Watch your back. Do you remember how Regal was killed? He did not watch He did back. not watch his own fucking back. Oh, there's that. Yeah, I, uh Hey, listen, they tried. They but tried. This was preposterous. They tried. And then they cut back and John Moxley has a look on his face like, this is fucking preposterous. It's, it does not make any sense. So I'm going to cut a promo about something totally different. That's <laughs> what happened. Which is what he did. <laughs> the three of us, he says, we live and breathe in the sport of pro wrestling. Call us whatever you want at Final Battle, the war where the JAS is over. And it, he's all fired up now on Rampage. He's challenging any wrestler in the world to come face him. There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's up with the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away. Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> you have to have another drink right now. God, help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see I'm, that? I just... Uh, you absolute... God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Sheesh. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.